I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father of God, we thank the Lord. This is still gracious unto us. In that manner, I will request that we consult from the Lord. Let us all pray. Amen. <laughs> of God, we are thankful. In that manner, we said, let us read in the book of Chronicles. And then, uh, Second Chronicles. And then, Revale uh, chapter 18. Revale Chaulo Yel Sume, let me just swipe. And then, Revale verse 1. From verse 1. And then, Revale Kabu Telejanyan. It will be long. And then, it reads thus. Josephat here at the Chukima Pumo, the Horetra, a Jela Nale Ahapa. There he who fitile Naranana, I at La Ahapa Mutumasa Maria Ahapa at Havela at Havela Josephata, Levatra, at Leone, Lea, and Nadinku, little Komuja in Chi. I am a Allah. Sorry, I'm a hotel. I tell her, I'm a two hours. Wahili at a beer. Now, Joseph had riches and honored in abundance, enjoying affinities with Ahab. And after certain years, he went down to Ahab to Samaria. And Ahab killed sheep and oxen for him in abundance and for the people that he had with him and persecuted and persecuted him to go up with him to Ramoth Gilead. Ahaba Hoshia Israel, Abola Lejo Safata Hoshia Juta Ari. Aukasia Len Nakua Ramutina Hina Yad. Josephata Ari Nalu and Arbati Lesichawa Lesichawa Saka, Lesichawa Sahao, Ritla, Emma Luena, Tavano. And Ahab king of Israel said unto Joseph the king of Judah, Will thou go with me to Ramoth Gilead? And he answered him, I am as thou art, and my people as thy people, and we will be with thee in the war. Joseph at Abulela Lokoshi, Yaitrael Ar, Anke Ubuchese Morena, Asse, Abulela Hulu. And Joseph had said unto the king of Israel, Inquire, I pray thee, at the word of the Lord today. Hosha Israel, a Vijava Profita, one of Mahula Mane, a Babucha, a Faragaya, Ragayo Tavana, Lemutu, Aramutu, Liat, over Relese Hoy, one of our Sepilla, one of Mosua, O Morena, Udo Hafela, Satan Sahau, Hosh. Therefore, the king of Israel gathered together of prophets four hundred men and said unto them, Shall we go to Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? And they said, Go up, for God will deliver it into the king's hand. But Joseph said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides that we might inquire of him? 
Khoshia is real. Kusama lemuna emu yo kahu uchia mura na kaya na fela na kimo choile kahu wane ham orofutele chewote hesi chempe kamela kimi kamura jimila josafatar a khoshi is real. And the king of Israel said unto Josaphat, There, there is, okay, there is yet one man by whom we may inquire of the Lord. But I hate him, for he never prophesied good unto me, but always evil. The same is Mika, the son of Imla. And Jehoshaphat said, Let not the king say so. Hosha Israel, a vice Muabalaki, a hofa ubite Mika Murajimi. And the king of Israel called for one of his officers and said, Fetch quickly Mika, the son of Imla. Hosha Israel, Joseph at a Hosha Juta, Bangla, Jugo, and Tavona, the Patelon Dele, Isha Horonia Samaria, Pachepide, Cabo Hoshi, Hume. And the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, said, Either of them on his throne, clothed in their robes, and they sat in a void place at the entering in of the gate of Samaria, and all the prophets prophesied before them. And Zedekiah, the son of Chenanai, had made him horns of iron, and said, That saith the Lord, with this thou shalt put Samaria until they be consumed. And all the prophets prophesied so, saying, Go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper, for the Lord shall deliver it into the hands of the king. And the messenger that went to call Mika spake to him, to him, saying, Behold, the words of the prophets declared good to the king with one assent. Let thy wait, therefore I pray thee, be like one of theirs, and speak thou good. Mika ar, kabu pilo ya morena, kitlo volela se morena ampo chavoso. And Mika said, As the Lord liveth, even what my God said, that will I speak. But and when, it, and when he was come to the king, the king said unto him, Mika, shall we go to Ramoth Gilead to Bethel, or shall I forbear? And he said, Go ye up and prosper, and they shall deliver into your hands. And the king said to him, How many times shall I adjure thee that thou say nothing but the truth to me in the name of the Lord? And then he said, I did see all Israel scattered upon the mountains, and as sheep that have no shepherd. And the Lord said, This has no master. Let them return, therefore, every man to his house in peace. God bless us. The re our uh, reading of the word will stop here. That we proceed with the preaching. Therefore, we thank the Lord.
because he is the waking God. He is God who has answer. Here we want to talk about Jesus, the answer of everything. Jesus is the answer of all things. Or rather, we'll say the title pronounced. That's, how, that's the way we thank the Lord. So that we can advise one another going forward. Let's look at things attentively. That when we say Jesus is the answer of all things, what is it that you are talking about? Because people have problems. People have sicknesses. When we say he is the answer of everything, while people are sick, and that means maybe we'll be talking something against what we're talking about now having problems and then us not or no problems but he is the answer of everything where we've read and then there was a condition that there was a nation Ahab was supposed to possess because that land was under them. But because of some unforeseen circumstances, other men ended up residing there. For you to go to that city, it requires a war that you possess that land through a war. Other than the war, you cannot possess that land. But, but when we look where we have read, we find a man by the name of Joseph being another man who often need require things to be worked according to the will of God. We see him talking to Ahab before we can go to a war because you and I we are one but before we go to the battle let us consult the Lord but this thing when they commune about it it seems as a good thing after being a good thing it reached a point that Ahab also he had men, men that he trusted, then, uh, by the, prophet, uh, the ones who were prophets of that time. Of that time. But he, got 400. he gathered about 400. Then, uh, he told them this matter. Uh, we are supposed to go and possess that land. We want to hear from you. What do you say about the date? They tried to prophesy, trying to explain whatever they can explain. That land, you will possess it. Him also sitting there, he was resting. After was uh, Joseph, at, Joseph at, while he was looking he had seen that this men they have no truth what we can do let me ask this man again because he is the king he knows his people let me ask him that is there anyone from the Lord start to check things very carefully is there no anyone from the Lord when you check the question is that these ones who do they belong to because they are also prophesying but but there is a man being a king and the Lord in the house and our brother. He asked that is there anyone from the Lord? They say he is there. That shows us there. Aha. Ahab, he knew the Mika very well. He knew very well that he is from the Lord. 
to go out to the battle there was no other plan that they can come up with because the answer of that battle is it, it is in the lord and then the lord is the one who had the answer and that answer has put it upon the mouth of mika not upon the 400 prophets the 400 prophets they had their own matter. They did not have the words from the Lord. But if you were looking for an answer of that city, Ramat of Gilead, you're supposed to get it from the Lord and get it through Mika. Other than that, you wouldn't win. Looking, they called upon Mika, come either. Him upon his arrival, he said, Go and prosper. But deep down their hearts, Ahab, deep down his heart, he felt that this answer is not from the Lord. It comes from this man. He did not want the answer from a man, but he wanted an answer from the Lord. We hear him saying, I want you to tell me the matter that comes from the Lord. I want you to sown and sown upon the way the, the name of the Lord. That you will tell me nothing but the truth. When he started to say that, he showed that all the time there was no one who had the answer. The answer was in the Lord. The Lord, because he uses a man. He has put the word of answer upon the mouth of Mika. Mika he started to tell them that the people where you are going the king will not return there will be a problem for the likes of the gear that time they were prophesying they were not stopping even if the Lord has said something they are continually prophesying even to the children of God God is speaking People are prophesying. People are doing whatever that they are doing. They will end up not having the answer of what the Lord has said. Because they are busy with their own things. So Zedekiah, even the men that he was with, they were busy doing their things. When Mika was speaking, they listened to him not. They are busy with their own things. But they reach a minute. When Zedekiah listened to him attentively, he heard that this man, being meager, he is not prophesying what we are prophesying. He is using another language. In the manner that he is using another language, I should come near him. He went near him. He slapped him. Do you think the Lord has left me and, sp and spoken through you? You start to see if a man come to this point it means that there is a problem to show that indeed the Lord has departed from him in the Lord the of God we are not fussing uh, for anything everything we just let it for the Lord to do it the way he wants it Mika, Mika he said to uh, Zedekia this condition you will and realize it afterwards. Other than that, you see that there is a problem. What I want to bring it before you, as sin of God, when you pray, or doing anything, know that you have the answer of all things. And that answer, it does not come anyway. It comes from 
from Jesus Christ. As this may, they are answer. It was from the Lord. As sin of God, even as we have the answer of all things, that is Jesus Christ. What can make us to rejoice? To have the answer. If you can look at this world, does not have the answer. Everyone say this one. The other one say that one. But you and I today, we are able to sit here and say that Jesus, he is the answer of all things. If you have this name Jesus, you have the answer of all things. Wherever you are working, you have the answer. Where you are sitting, you have the answer. If you are at the workplace, you have the answer. Everywhere you are working, you have the answer. When you pray, you pray while you have the answer. Why are people, they are praying, having no answer? Even though they are not even sure of what they are doing. What can give you hope and then that you, you are the privileged one. Upon this world that you are living in, the one that you worship in, not having the answer up until they say that the bed is just to worship and go forward. Even if we don't have the answer, as long as we are worshiping, that condition is not good. When you look at this man, indeed they went to the battle. In the manner that the Lord has answered, that this king will not return. Indeed, he did not return. God bless us. That's the condition that is there. That I want you to understand that everything that we do, let us do it while we have the answer to know that God answers us and God has our answer when we do things already we have the answer that's what we must know that as soon of God let us look upon the cross because upon the cross is where our answer lies God bless us when we look continuing here Let's look at in the beginning of all things. When people started worshiping, we see Cain and Abel. When they start the, uh, making their sacrifices, doing their sacrifices, Cain, he did not have the answer of what happened in the garden. But Abel, he had the answer. That's why when he bring forth the sacrifice, we see him splitting the blood. But when we look at Cain, we see him bringing for the legs of cabbage, tomatoes, the things that he has brought forth, bringing forth the vegetables. We see that this young man, he had no answer. But looking at Abel, we see him shedding the blood. We see that God accepting his sacrifice. That shows us there. As long as Cain and Abel worshipping and not being the same. There is no way they can be the same. Even if you can continue with them, as long as they walk a parallel going forward, there is no way they can meet. The reason is that from the beginning they were never the same. Even today, when you see us worshipping in this world, seeing us different, Know that our ways they will never meet. When they are heading, they will head, they will walk like that. If the other one is going straight to hell, it will end in hell. If this one it goes to the Lord, it will end in the Lord. There is no way where they will meet. For them to meet, where we start, we must be the same and walk on the same way. Don't find the other one dressing this other one or worshiping the other way. And he said, as long as I have Jesus in my heart, if you see us saying as long, the problem is there. So Abel, he worshiped. He continued. He did things the right way. God accepted his sacrifice. After accepting the sacrifice, 
God. He was the answer of what Abel has done. Abel after doing the sacrifice to show that it, the sacrifice is acceptable to show that this uh, sacrifice is good we see God accepting the sacrifice when we look at Cain we see him his countenance facing down and uh, disappointed uh, disappointed by what he has done even today there are people there are people whom their continence is fell because of the worship that they are in. When you're worshiping, you worship, you shouldn't be uh, you shouldn't be disappointed disappointed because of the worship you are in. So a lot of people they are they are disappointed because they know very well that in the manner that they are worshiping, it is not the way God requires. So we see Cain and Abel. Cain his continence was down. Abel, Abel, he was rejoicing, seeing that I've done the right that God requires. That's how a child of God must be. If you're a child of God, seek God, because He's the one who is your answer. Everything that you do, Him, He is the one to approve it. That these things, the one that my child has done, is the right. One. If you have done it that way, if God is pleased because you have done what he requires, God bless you. So the answer of Cain, it was wrong because he has taken the vegetables not knowing what happened in the garden. That is a sign to show that the worship we don't just worship because we are worshiping. You should have a revelation that a child of God should be should have a revelation that in the manner that I'm worshiping is God hearing me? If God does not hear me, I seek for another platform and stand there where the Lord has spoken. You can be able to listen to him even when you are spoken so that God God can listen to you. There is a place that the child of God must stand. And that place is him, Jesus Christ. There is no other place. When you read in the Bible, you say there will come a time, a time to go and worship the, or to pray God on the mountain or in Jerusalem. But Jesus said that time there will be no more time to worship in Jerusalem or on, 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 on the mountain. God, we worship him in spirit and in truth. So when we talk about truth, we are talking about the word of God. And the word of God he, he is Jesus Christ. There is nothing that is new. Just that God, when he's here, he uses the other language. When he speaks from this language, he uses another language. But he is still the same God. That's where we should catch him. And know whom we are worshipping. God bless him. Abel. Abel. He knew that in the garden. What happened. That's why when he bring, he bring forth the sacrifice. He has provided the right answer. And God also. When he looked at this one. Bringing forth the right answer. God also. He, he, he accepted the meaning that God he answered Abel that you Abel you have done right that's how even as we must be so looking at our world people are worshipping people are going up and down but Cain when his continents fell God said to him you also do good God he did not just uh, kick him away one major. He is calling upon you that even you do, do 
But K, inside him, he knew the very well that I will never do right. Even when he is speaking, I will not go. I will never do what they are telling me. Even today, there are still people who are listening to the truth of God. They are able to, to, to speak with their mouth. Even if they say we are repenting, that church I will never attend. Or that worship I will never worship it that way. We are not talking about going to church. We are not talking about going to another a, a kind of worship. We are trying to show here that Jesus he is the answer of all things. Going to Jesus. When we are in Jesus we will know that we have the answer of all things. When there is going up and down we must think in the word of God and know what we are. God bless us. Even during the time of old we will just show there and there that there were people who once got the answers and God blessed them. Even God testified that what they are doing is right. So during the time of Noah it was that way. There was evil all over. Noah even in him he asked himself that this life this is not the right life but there was the answer that was supposed to come during that time in that cry that Noah had God he had the answer and he was looking for a man during that age he found that a man there is no man other than Noah so when we were sitting there he started to talk with Noah because you are suffering the things of the world are persecuting you let me tell you tell these people that this world I as God I will destroy it Noah he got the answer that I am surprised at this world why is it like this that means that that God will destroy it. Afterwards, he said, because these people are rejected, they don't want to accept what you're saying. You build yourself an ark and enter inside. After entering, I as God, I will show you the answer that this world, how will I destroy it? God indeed he did that. So Noah, when he found the answer, so a child of God, even you during this time we are living here, you have the answer. Maybe you might not see it, but should you sit very carefully and look at this world, you will be able to see that there is the answer in this age. And that answer is not all people who are able to see it. Others that are going there side the other side they have no answer but you have the answer go forward and praise the Lord Amen there is no question that is impossible for God God. We might take all our questions and go with them before the Lord. Then God will answer them. There is no problem that is bigger and before God. So us, when we have problems and all things, let us take them towards him. God will answer us. That's the way you see Noah. He was able to be saved because he had the answer. Even today, children of God, our world, it is in darkness. You as the child of God, you walk in the light. You have the answer of this age you are living in. The people who are living in this time, they have no answer. But you, you are walking in this world, him in the answer. When you see people doing things, you already have the answer in the scripture. 
scriptures that these people what they are doing therefore God will kill them you try to show them they take heed not God bless us let's give an example with another Abraham Abraham he did not have child for a long time and then how did you when he was there having that problem people speaking and persecuting him and making fun of him but Abraham he went he sojourned because he was in the child he went to the Lord going towards the Lord when he came back he came having the answer God has promised him that you will have a son and that son it will be a, a boy and then you have our son by the name of Isaac. God bless us. So this condition, it amazed the people. These old men, he got an answer after a long period of time that he was sitting there, rejoicing over what the Lord has given him. So his children, they multiplied and multiplied. Up until they were held captive in the, uh, the land of Israel. Egypt. So when they're in Egypt, they started to, to have a crime. When there is a crime, it requires the answer. And the help is required. So God, he was busy, has taken a man, has put him in the wilderness by the name of Moses. Moses, he was the one having the answer, the one that comes from the Lord. The one that's supposed to free the son of Israel. So when they're sitting there, the crying, Moses, Moses, he came in. He was sent by God. He had the answer. So those men and women, when they see Moses, they're supposed to say their answer that God he has sent us a man and he will set us free. Indeed, he freed them. Along their journey, when upon their journey, they made the Red Sea. And then ever you more when, when sitting there, the very same God, the one who was the answer in the land of Egypt. Even before the Red Sea, he was still the answer. We're supposed to answer them. Answering them by opening up the sea. When he opened up the sea, they passed away there on the dry ground. It did not end there. And then along their journey, along their way, they were in need of water. But God, because He's the answer of everything, He supplied them with water. They, they drank the, the water. They rejoiced. They praised the Lord. Along their journey, there comes a famine. But God, because He's the answer of everything, He provided them with manna that they eat and proceed. Even today, when we're in the journey, if you see it, things are difficult, there is nothing difficult because the answer is already there. Amen. If you're a child of God, know that God, He is the answer of everything. If you are hungry, He is the one to provide you with food. If you are uh, lacking water, He is the one to provide you with water. If you come up across problems, he is the one to take you out of problems. God bless us. That's how God works. Jesus, he came to the world. Coming to the world, he was the answer of, uh, of the whole world. This whole world, it was inside of sin. No one uh, to escape. And then, but God, he said. Send Jesus in the, in the world. Sending Jesus in the world. He died for us. He tried to show us that I'm going to the cross because I, I have your answer. Having the answer. When we look at the answer, we find that the answer is life. Amen. That's what the prophet says. If you are a child of God, when you 
when you know God, <laughs> know that you know life, <laughs> and also you have life, <laughs> you have the answer <laughs> that you are you are alive. Yeah, <laughs> because he be <laughs> said, <laughs> because I live, <laughs> he also shall live. <laughs> Amen. Then the time when Jesus was here on earth, there were people who were sick. When they were sick, but Jesus in him, he had the answer of all sickness. He found a, a woman whom she had a problem of that issue. We never had where they say she was prayed for. Luke chapter 8. And then verse 43 to 48. Amen. And then when you read you you find that this woman, she came where Jesus was. Irregardless of the problem that she had, she had many years, for 12 years, while she was sick. But this woman, when she heard that Jesus is around, inside her, something arose and told her that there is an answer. Of your sickness. That today, should you arise, is your chance. Should you arise, you don't need to be prayed for. Just touch the hem of his garment and you will get the answer. And that woman also, she did so. That sickness suddenly stopped. And That woman, she rejoiced. She was completely healed. Amen. What I want us to read here, chapter 5. Luke how la botlano. And then the no ba la fawe. Just read there. And then the khono bona na go dira la fawe. So that we can see what's happening. Luke chapter 5. Luke how la botlano. And then verse 18 to 20. Je mana go le sume se swai go vita o ya masume paid. Ere ba bona go and behold, men brought in a bed a man which was taken with a palsy, and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. Ba rutula, ba fulu sha mtu, eo ale malao, aba afita mo katikabo ona pilha Jesu. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the house top and let him down through the tiling with his couch into the midst or uh, before Jesus. Jesu ya wano, tumelo ya wano, ar. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Men, thy sins are forgiven. We see that Jesus has come. We find that the people are suffering from different uh, sicknesses. There's the, the one with the blood issue. The answer was provided. Oh, and get healed. There was the one who suffered, who, who had palsy, and then uh, even him in that condition, his answer he received. The man has realized, then they've seen very well that in there, because the answer is inside there, we must strive to, to get where the answer is. They find a multitude of people. Others were resting, others were rejoicing, others were singing, others were praying. But this one, upon their arrival, they want where the answer is. 
Amen. They've seen that because where the answer is, we cannot <laughs> reach. They went uh, onto the, the, the house top. <laughs> After they, they reached up top there, <laughs> they, up, uh, they uprooted the house. <laughs> when they were doing that, <laughs> when they looked, <laughs> they saw that there is the answer. <laughs> and this patient, <laughs> we cannot go with him before. <laughs> where the answer is <laughs> there, they took their patient and they, they took him down. They put him before the answer. Let's hear what the answer says. When the answer when the answer answered, when the answer looked at the faith of those men, he reached a point that you arise and take your bed. Your sins are forgiven. You see, that is the answer of all things. There are people who are sick. They are not sick because they are sick. They are sick because of their sins. Here is another one. When he, when he, they healed his, when he, he was healed, his sickness. when Jesus was supposed to heal his sickness, he looked at the cause of the sickness. He found that the cause is sin. Take thy veins and go because thy sins are forgiven. He forgives the sins. After he, his sins were forgiven, the sickness is gone. Because what caused the sickness is sin. Even us during the time we there are people who might be sick. Not because they are sick because they are supposed to be sick. They are sick because they have sinned. That's why That's why when someone is sick, must confess that I, the Lord, I have done you wrong. And then you are like, as your child, I will say, God forgive me. God, because he has the answer, he will forgive you. There are people who are blind, who got their answer. John chapter 9. John chapter 9. And then, there was a blind man who got his answer. After getting the answer, people they fought against him. They said, No, you did not get the answer. But the blind man, because he has found the answer, even if you only want to speak, he cannot even listen to it. Because the blind man himself he got the answer. Amen. That's the way even blind people they got their answers. Amen. The crippled people they also got the answer. Even for the likes of Peter, they found one. They say, Sliver and gold, we have them not. But what we have, because even then they had the answer. They said, What we have, we are giving it unto you. Because we are giving it to you, in the name of Jesus, arise and go. Indeed, that man he did so. Because for the likes of Peter, they had the answer. Today, you as a child of God, you also have the answer. You are having it inside your hand. You must release it and give it unto people so that the people they can know very well that when we are looking for an answer of our sickness, we can go there. And that person, should he pray for us, we will be healed. They will come to before you with faith. And then about you Believing that you have the answer of all things. God bless you. The answer of the child of God. It is not anywhere. It is not in the church. It is not upon the pastor. The answer of the child of God is in the Lord. Amen. We must uh, believe in that matter. Of God. 
God help us. They are the people. They were able to be oppressed. But in that condition, God, because he's the answer of all things, he was able to account for them. We see a woman. They caught her. They said, This woman, we, we, we caught her in the act of adultery. Amen. After they found her, they took her and put her before, her, before Jesus. So Jesus, he tried to talk to them, talking to them. The one who had not yet sinned, and then let him stone her. All of them they went away. Afterwards, the woman was left alone. He also spoke to her. I want to show you that. All the people, those who left, they found the answer. And then even the one who left, the woman, she also received her answer. But that was in the We must be watchful that we have the answer of all things. Amen. That's the waiting of God. There is another woman. Yeah, even her. She went before Jesus. And then the Lord Jesus. Where Jesus? They invited him. But they care not about him. They welcomed others. But they failed to welcome him. But this woman, she went before the feet of Jesus. She cried there. And she washed the feet of Jesus. And she 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 washed uh, using her hair. Her, her, her. This woman, she was doing that because she saw that the answer is there. Indeed, she got the answer. She went away in peace. God bless her. When we look at people who are dead, even them they have the answer. Because Lazarus died after his death, they buried him. After burying him, the answer was. They went and buried him. But when the day, but the day the answer came, he said, "Where have you laid him?" They say, "Here he is, his thing." Lazarus come from? When he said Lazarus too, and then indeed he arose because the answer he has come and he was able to rise Lazarus. Amen. They say the wives from the east, they also came, they reached a point, to, to come where Jesus was born, around their journey, the star vanished, because it was their answer, telling them Jesus is born somewhere. But when they entered where Herod was, Herod, he knew nothing. In other ways, he has no answer. He told the man who had the answer that go, if you found him, return and tell me so that I can have the answer. But inside his heart, he did not mean that. He wanted to kill them. God said, change the way. Leave him that way so that he can remain heavy no answer. There are people in this world they will, they will forever uh, without the answer. When Jesus is here being the answer of all things. Amen. During this time God has brought forth as the answer uh, through the prophet of our age. Brother Brenham when he came to this world, he was bringing forth the answer to show or to let us know how to worship and know what to tell God. Every age he has his own answer. That's the way of God. We must know the condition of worship. When we can look, as we are about to finish, that when we look back there, Pharaoh, 
Pharaoh, that we spoke about, he had no answer. The answer was with Moses. That's the way you see him uh, hardening his heart. But God has shown him very well that yeah, you will believe that I, I am the answer of all things. So during this time, the time we are living in, even us, we have the answer of all things. We see uh, uh, sister Hedira. She was able to get the answer uh, by his children. The one that he asked for them through uh, from the Lord so that God can save them. And that showed them in the Lord there is nothing impossible. God bless us. During the time of Pentecost, when the Holy Ghost came, it was the answer of those people in the upper room. Because they were told that they should uh, dwell in Jerusalem waiting for the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit has come, answer to what has been spoken, that indeed it was spoken, that we should be here. We will get the Holy Spirit. So Jesus, He is the answer of all of us. Not looking at how great the problem is, but God, He is the answer of everything. Your answer today, it might be anything you have as a child of God, but know that there is an answer. You might have experienced poverty for a long time, uh, 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 lacking the answer for a long time. But Jesus, I'm still promising you that even today he is still your answer because he was the answer of the resurrection of Lazarus so even us he is still our resurrection God bless us when you look children of God to worship God should you worship God in the manner that God has pronounced you will see that things are going according when you look at uh, the last one, yeah. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, they said to them, they worshipped God, and then, but about, knowing that and we had the answer. And then, uh, when they sit in there, trying to show them on how to worship. If you don't do this way, we are punishing. But those men were not, uh, 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 they did not get scared because of the punishment. Because they had the answer. So looking at them, they lit a condition of taking them and throwing them in the fairy fire, putting them there. When they're inside the fire, we see the answer in there. Him, he was with them because he's the answer of all things. He answers inside the fire, he answers inside the sickness. Tata. inside the problems he is the answer of all things let us worship God knowing that our God he is the answer of everything God bless us let us all close our eyes 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 Kaeta te ubonu swaleje re tate o bolelele rena ka tsela ye o re bontshe go shimorana modimo o re wena ka nnete o karabo ya dilo ka moka mre yes dina ko nka moka go shiaka re lebella dilo ja rena kudu o fitisha de lentula ha o go shiaka re nyaka di karabo go shita te mo sa tshanela go bona mre o tsa go shiaka le khono o re le moshitse re go shiaka re nyaka karabo re lebelele mo wena go shiaka o bana no ka re provide aka ka ra bo mre re go le bua go shiaka o bana ke nnete tate wena o ka ra bo ya rena o ka ra bo ya dilo ka moka mara le ba re di ba mo ba neng wana go shiaka ke dumelo go re wa ra bile di pelong ja bona mre na di putisho ka moka je be re na le tsona go shiaka o ra ra bile ka nnete mre mara ha o ke go shiaka o sa mo shimishitse montsi ba neng a le tsatse go shimorana modimo madatsi le mo yena mo lebelela ka motho mo tsho fa tshe go shiaka Ere tsatsile go shiaka a le mosukhutlong sa e go shiaka a bala ding tshuta tjo mo etele 
Khoshiaga o mofe Khoshiaga dijo ja o tsha ile go di monja o tshana le tsengwe rena o tlo fepa ba rwa le ba rodi ba hao mre tsho fa jo bo botle go shi morena modimo batho ka moka ba thiletseng go shi ya ka malaetsa o malebelela ka botho ba fe ditlhoko tsa dipelo tsa bona ba go bona yela ka karabo maphelong a bona mre re o tlhoka mo maphelong a rena go shi morena modimo yela ka karabo ya rena go shi ya ka ka o bana tsatse ka ntlelo wena go shi ya ka a rena karabo mo maphelong a rena mre ra go lebua papa re go phagamisha re o thumisha e ka bala ba ba sa ikweleng ha botse mo mebeleng a batse gore wena go shi ya ka wena ka wena karabo ya maletsi ya bona morena wena ka wena karabo ya mathata a bona ka moka go shi morena modimo go shi ya ka wena ka re na molela julong ka moka morena re go lebua go shi ya ka re go lebuile re go phagamisha tse ka moka tate re le gatsela matsonga ha go shi ya ka re tsa ka re dumela le ne le le phela la marana jesu christe re ya lebua amen